Hey everybody, Andre Malock here from NJ Advanced Media. Today I'm at Prudential Center, excuse me, Prudential Sea Turtle Recovery Center at Turtleback Zoo in West Orange. That's in Essex County. And uh, I'm going to flip this camera around and give you guys a look. All right, today we're going to see some sea turtles. We're going to talk to some experts in sea turtles, and we're going to actually see these experts work on a turtle do, doing some rehab work. So um, let's come over here. This is one of our experts. This is Bill. Bill, how you doing? Hello. Bill, um, can you talk a little bit about this, this facility? What's, what's going on here? Bill? Sure. So Sea Turtle Recovery is New Jersey's uh, first and only long-term rehab facility for sea turtles. Uh, so turtles that need care for more than just a few weeks, uh, they come here. Uh, we also help out other regions by taking in turtles. Uh, this year we took in some turtles from New England. We, they had about over 450 cold stun turtles in the Northeast this year. So we took in some of them to help out. Um, today you're going to see us do an exam um, on one of those turtles uh, to check him out, make sure he's ready for release in the next few weeks. Uh, we're going to do things like listen to his heart rate, check out some wounds that he had on his plastron, which is the underside of his shell, make sure those are healing well. Uh, just a general overall physical exam just to make sure he's, he's doing well before we uh, prep him to, to leave. All right, well, uh, we'll talk to you a little bit more right now. I guess we're going to just kind of watch you uh, get this turtle out of the tank and so you can do the work that you guys do, okay? So we bring them up very slowly from the water. We don't want to shock them and, and, and just pull them out of the water column, so we, we raise them up. And so that's what you're going to be seeing. And then we'll be real quiet until we get them into the, into the container. Sea Turtle Recovery. He does not want to make it easy on you guys, it looks like. <laughs> This turtle's about to be uh, taken out of this tank. And they're gonna do a little bit of work. about this what kind of turtles are you are you treating here so w there's five species in the Atlantic and right now all we have is Kim's Ridley's we have 10 Kim's Ridley's um, we did have 11 our last one got released this week so so we have 10 right now Excellent. so we're gonna pull him out as we said um, we'll check his heart um, we look in his nose look at his nasal passage real quickly just make sure his airways clear um, we'll look at his top shell and then real briefly look at his lower shell. It should be all cleared up, um, but Bill will point out to you where, where the injury was um, and we'll see how that's healing. Sounds we'll good. also get a weight and so we're going to go to the scale first. Okay. You enter the scale. So now I have to be quiet now, right? Just so people who are watching know that we do have to be quiet. We don't want to stress the turtle Absolutely. out. Absolutely. The less stress, the better. Um, and we don't want them, they are going to go back to the wild, so we don't want them associating with us. Five point oh nine kilograms.
We're going to try for a heart rate now. We're going to try again. He's gaining a little weight and so it's not always easy to find it. That whooshing sound is his heart and then trying to keep it on it for... We're just going to look at his plastron. See his injuries real quick. You can see where his injuries were, these dark spots, or where they're healing. They were very deep when he first came in, and they're now looking very nice, new tissue covering over those. A little bit of bruising still, but other than that, looks very good. And he's all there. And we'll shut him in so he calms down. Just joining us, guys, we're at the Prudential Sea Turtle Recovery Center at Turtleback Zoo in West Orange. And we're with a couple of sea turtle experts. And they just finished up with an examination of one of their turtles. So when we put Dante back in, um, a lot of times they want to escape. And so we want to point them towards the edge of the tank. That way they, they don't just swim for it and hit the other side. So we'll be aiming him towards us um, and then gently lay him in so he adjusts to the water. Yeah. He's going back in. Here we go. <laughs> Look at that compared to his other ones, but he's looking Our good. good. Um, we'll be give, offering him live crab um, pretty soon before he's released. Make sure um, he's ready to go. So in the next few weeks, he, he may be ready to release. We got to do a blood draw, and the vet's got to sign off. But he's looking great. Can you um, talk a little bit about the sea turtles in, in general, the biggest threats in the ocean, stuff like that? You, or Bill, you want to talk a little bit about just sure. So we have to worry about obvious uh, pollution. Um, everybody's seen the, you know, the sea turtle with the straw. Um, any kind of plastics and things, they all pose a threat to these guys in the wild. Um, sometimes they get entangled in a fishing line or they'll eat recreational fishing gear uh, looking for a meal. Um, you have to worry about boat strikes, things like that. There's natural predators like sharks. Um, so all those things kind of come into play with sea turtles. Uh, there are areas in the world where they still hunt and collect sea turtles. Um, so, you know, worldwide conservation efforts are trying to gear towards preserving them. Uh, the turtles that we see here in New Jersey, mostly you see uh, some ship strikes, fishing ingestion, things like that. Uh, cold stunning uh, will help out other regions when they get overwhelmed. Um, this facility, um, brand new facility, is gorgeous. It's dedicated both to the rehab of the turtles, but also public education, the public education space. Um, getting the word out there and telling people about turtles and why we need to help them and ways that they can help and protect them. Um, it, that's an equal part of our mission. So it's not just working with the animals, it's also talking to the public, getting the word out there, getting people to fall in love with these turtles as much as we do, just so that we can help protect them. Uh, the Kemp's Ridley's are the most endangered species. There's not very many left, not very many breeding females to lay nests. So we need to save every single turtle that we can. Perfect, guys, thanks. We're gonna take one walk around, show, some, show the folks who are watching some more turtles, uh, and then we'll probably sign off pretty soon. All right, guys.
have to keep my voice quiet though here. We are a nonprofit. Um, we pay for all the food, the blood, the medications um, to help heal these sick and injured sea turtles. And um, this is open to the to the public, right? Brand that you're talking yes, about. Yes, you can that. see see from our display uh, up front. They they get a public view and they can see kind of what we're doing in the back. There's also cameras above all the tanks, so so you'll be able to see them that way. And they do can see out the one viewing window. We're open any day that the zoo is open. We're open the same hours as the zoo. So if you come into the zoo, you can stop by and see us. Come take a look, see the turtles for yourself. All right, guys, I think we're going to sign off in a minute. I'll show you a few more turtles, and then we're going to sign off for now. Nice little close-up of this guy. Uh, we, had a, we had a question come in, guys. Um, can, can they swim with your turtles? Can someone no. swim with your... <laughs> so the goal of all of our turtles is to get them back to the wild. We want to keep them as wild as possible. So we have very little to no interaction with them as much as possible. Uh, that's why we try not to talk too much around them. We're trying to be quiet during the exam. We don't want them to associate with people. So our goal is to keep them wild so that they stay safe when they go back to the ocean. That makes perfect sense. Um, for the folks who are watching, thank you for sharing. Thanks for the, uh, the, the questions and the comments. Um, I'm going to give you one more quick look here. These turtles in this big tank right here. And I'm going to sign off. This is Andre Malloc from NJ Advanced Media. Thanks so much for watching on NJ.com. And we'll see you next time. <laughs>